lot of time people run into dead ends in their careers what do i mean by dead ends are mostly mental dead ends which occurs to you when you are around 8 to 10 years of experience and let me give some examples sometimes people who are in testing uh, with 7 8 years of experience feel that there is no further growth in their testing career or for that matter developers may also feel that now after having 8 to 10 years of experience they probably don't see a road ahead they are not sure of whether they should continue in the technical track or whether they should move into a leadership track or a people management track so people generally get confused sometimes people decide to make radical changes or want to make radical changes for example somebody working in testing may want to switch into data science so that can be a aspirational thought that may come into your mind just because you think that data science is the most happening thing today you may probably become interested into making that transition or because you have seen somebody do that right so you get inspired by somebody because you have seen some of your colleagues cousins or relatives do that kind of transition so what does it really take to To transition from something uh, which is very different from what you are doing today. So let's say if you want to transition from X to Y, where X is testing, Y is data science, or let's say X is Java and Y is cloud or machine learning or anything of that sort, right? So if you want to radically transition into something very different, here are three, four things which you need to keep in mind. Number one thing is, of course, the fundamental thing, which is your skill set. Skill sets and knowledge is the most basic thing which you will need to transition from one role to another, and because that is where the rubber meets the road so where do you start to learn where do you start to gain knowledge and build your skills there are so many paid courses out there but i would suggest first start with something which is free and where to hunt for free i will show you on screen there are some resources where for example you can learn things for free and these may be short courses where you don't have to spend any money but you can get a very good overview or idea of what this new technology is about and you can also test your motivation is your motivation for long term or your motivation just for short term so without spending money you can actually do some short courses and get a feel of whether you are really interested to continue in that particular field for a long term after you gain knowledge and build a certain skill set in the new area where you want to transition next logical step is to get some hands on experience because without hands on experience nobody will entertain you so in order to get hands on experience one way is to look for online competitions or open source project or freelancer projects which are these days available in the market online you can try to participate in some of these online competitions hackathons or open source projects and get some real life experience you can also do certain things for free as a freelancer i mean don't charge anything just contribute this is one way of knowing at what level you have learned things and whether you will be able to execute or not another very good way of getting hands on experience is to talk to your current employer if you have learned certain things on your own or if you have taken some courses within the company you can go and talk to your group manager or whoever is responsible to give you exposure to certain hands on projects happening within that same group or in some adjacent groups and i know it is easier said than done sometimes you know people are not ready or flexible to give you those kind of learning opportunities on the ground but if you don't try the answer is always no so it is always better to go and tell them that you are learning certain skill set you have already taken some efforts to learn and now you are eager to know how things get done in real world so you want some hands on experience so go and talk to your current employer manager lead whoever and see if you can get some real life opportunities out there after you've done this the third logical step is to network with the right set of people you already have a network but in your network you may not have relevant people who can help you get jobs or internships or opportunities in the new skills that you have learned so you need to also consciously make efforts to expand your network online on platforms like linkedin and also offline in your office and outside of your office which is the actual real human network so if you know the right people you will get to know right information and if you have the right information you will be able to tap into right opportunities so till now we have discussed three things one is you'll need to learn new skill sets my suggestion is to learn it for free second is to participate in some online competitions hackathons etc and gain hands on experience third is to expand your network and connect with the right people and now coming to the fourth point which is obtaining online certifications or offline certifications from institutes that have credibility and authority in that particular area so let's say for example if you want to move from qa to data science or qa to cloud then you may want to do relevant certification questions in data science and cloud which are recognized and appreciated by the employers and last but not the least if you are really serious about this kind of radical transition from one skill to another then before you spend your money talk to people who have done certain paid courses 
from some institutes. There are so many institutes out there, but in order for you to know that if you are coming from a testing background, for example, you need to know whether this particular institute will give you some placement opportunity or not. So for that, you need some insider information. You need somebody who has actually done that prior to you. Somebody who has been part of that institute or has worked over there or has done some courses from there and got placed somewhere, right? So if you are able to connect with these kind of people, then yes, it will really help to get associated with such courses or such programs. Even if they are paid, you get to learn as well as you get placement opportunities. So these days, it is not very uncommon for people to transition from one technology to another or one domain to another, even in their 30s or 40s. Once you realize that there is a dead end that you have reached, then at times it is absolutely necessary to take such steps. But have a little bit of caution. Make sure that you have enough energy and motivation to do this because it may not be as easy as it sounds, but at the same time, it is not impossible as well. I hope you liked the video. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done it already. Share this video with your friends. I'll see you in another video soon. Take care. Bye for now.